are then. Uh, in first place, the Interflora Florist of the Year 2011 goes to Neil Whitaker. <laughs> It means a great lot because I've competed for so many um, years that to actually have this title again really means a lot to me and it, it always expands my imagination on creating something new. I love competing in front of the public. I think the biggest thing is that we were so used to having competitions behind closed doors, now it's open to the public to be able to see everything. It showcases our strengths and our ability of what we can create. Me as a florist, as competing for many years, it's made me learn new techniques. It's made me come up with many more ideas that I can then transpose into the shop for when a customer comes in and asks me for something quite unusual. The bridal design was created by using hundreds of rolled rose petals with little pearls inside, which then, when it was all wired together, created a wonderful bowl that I suspended on clear acrylic wires. And then inside the bowl, to really give that intricate feel, I added lots of different textures of roses and some sample vinums, a hint of glitter. And then I've got a wonderful vine climbing up to the top to the sphere of roses, and I've glued hundreds of little rose thorns on to really take all the elements from one flower. My free expression, which was depicting the Japanese society, I really sort of wanted to bring that very clean clinical feel. So I've used two very strong columns, but also bring in the element of water, because in Japanese culture they have lots of water running with bonsais. And then I've used many of the orchids and the James Story orchids to gently crisscross through the design, but I cleverly hid the oasis inside by using latex rubber and put little slits in so I could then place my flowers through to the floral foam. Well the hat was to be designed for a cottage garden, now that was quite a, a challenging one because you had to make the hat, make sure it was wearable, but obviously looking at cottage garden flowers, how will they last through the day, will they stand up? So you have to look at all the different elements. So I first started off by just using very simple wreath rings, which I've hand wrapped with wool, and then I've made a wire structure to make it very three-dimensional. And then to create the bow and the, the top of the hat, I've used normal hessian, and then I've stippled it with copper leaf. But then I went through to using the wonderful Sandersonia and the marigolds and some spray roses deep inside with lots of different ferns to really give you that cottage feel. The prize item is always the fun one because you never know what you're going to get. You don't know what's in the box and I always find it's one of my strengths that after competing for such a long time I've got used to this and it's like working in the shop. Everything is a surprise and we had this woodland design to create and I used the hydrangea to really give depth through the design keeping it quite low and then used the contorted hazel to climb through and up. And just to give those tree feels, I've used the Ming fern, but stripped it quite clean so you're actually seeing the natural stem. So it really gives you that woodland feel. Well, obviously, I'm off to um, the Europa Cup in the Czech Republic um, end of August. And I've done that competition once before, so I do understand how it works. And I think it would be the biggest thing to bring that trophy home as well, because we've never won the Europa Cup. And the last time I was there, I was 0.4 marks from winning. So hopefully this is now a roll and I'm really going to bring that trophy back.